Hey guys, Fenno here and welcome to my part of Redstone 101. In this video I will be covering T flip flops. So what exactly is a T flip flop? It may not sound like it, but it really is a technical term. It's short for toggle flip flop and thought of by CMB Minecraft. I won't show you his design in this video, but you can find it in the description. Basically what a T flip flop does is it turns a short pulse, for instance off a button or a monostable, into a constant pulse like a lever. So whenever you would press a button a lamp would turn on and then when you press it again it would turn off. This can be useful in a lot of situations. So the first design I wanted to show you is a very simple and useful one and it uses the concept of sending a one tick pulse through a piston to push a block, in this case the redstone block, out to power something. I don't think you would need a tutorial for this, but just make sure that you have this repeater after the actual monostable, which is this piston and the redstone dust, I guess. Because oddly enough, pistons don't carry half tick pulses and you have to, to use a repeater to round them up to one tick pulses. Okay, so the next one is a bit more weird and it uses some funky concepts to make it function like it does. As you can see, the cauldron is being switched from one place to another, like that. And we can take an output when it's in the lowest position, like it is over here. Uh, you do want to note that the comparator will only output a signal strength of 3, so you may want to have a repeater right next to there. Number three is what redstoners call a solid state T flip flop, which means that it doesn't have any moving parts in it. This design came to be pretty much as soon as hoppers and droppers were introduced in the game, which was in the 1.5 update, and it's still a really good design. As you can see here, this dropper is facing upwards into the top one right here. So that spit when the button is pressed, when the item is in the bottom one, it spits the item to the top one and when the item is in the top one it spits the item out into this chest and then it spit then the hopper here takes the item out of the chest and puts it back into the bottom dropper of course i can't forget about repeater locking in this video and that's why i've included a commonly used the flip flop based of that feature so the pistonless monostable here makes it so that the other two repeaters turn off for two ticks and them turning off for two ticks makes it so that this repeater over here can uh, toggle its state. So as you can see, it's locked at the off state right now. And now it's locked at the on state. And last but certainly not least, we have the hopper hopper T flip flop. This gives both hoppers just about a tick to release the item, which results in the output taken by the comparator toggling its state. So as you can see right here, these droppers are pointing into each other. This dropper, or hopper, I'm sorry, um, this hopper is holding the item right now. But when we press the button and wait for the falling edge, the item is now in this hopper and the comparator can't take its output. I think I've covered just about everything I wanted to cover, but if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me in the comments. I promise I won't bite. If this was all clear enough for you, then you can head back to the 101 to check out some other redstone bit you're confused about, and you can click on the screen right now to check out the people who made this all possible. But yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.